Sora Art Online is one of the worst isekai animes released in the past few years. Let me explain. Sword Art Online, known as SAO, was originally a light novel written by Reki Kawahara and illustrated by Abek in 2002. When in 2012, anime television series was produced by A1 Picture and aired at the same year. Since then, the show received countless seasons and spin offs, even coming to a third season named Sword Art Online Alicization. But today I'll be, I'll be only talking about the first season of SAO, since it's the most popular and the one of the few that I've watched. So let's talk about it. Also, I'm kinda sick, so yeah, sorry. The story is pretty simple. The year uh, 2022, Virtual Reality Game SAO was released. A shit ton of people entered the game, but soon they realized they are unable to log out and they must survive and complete the game to get out. Not gonna lie, the premise is actually pretty good. It has a lot of potential, and probably if you're listening to this for the first time, you might, might think, this is a good anime? And I, it, it, it's really bad, yeah, it's really bad. It's pretty generic all around, and if you're not 11, the show is pretty boring and really slow. The characters, as I said before, are pretty generic. They are our main protagonist, Kazuto Kirigawa, which will be calling Kirito from now on, and the second protagonist, Asuna Yuki. Kirito is a generic, lone wolf, agilor protagonist. He doesn't seem to have a family, he never shows in the show, other than his sister, which only serves to fan service for all the 11 years old watching. Yeah, he likes any kind of motivation for a good portion of the show, and he likes any kind of character development throughout the whole show. In the other case, Asuna is one of the only decent characters in the show. She actually wants to lose her, she has motivation and character development. And most of the time she's nice to watch, pretty solid character. There are a multitude of uh, other side characters, but other than this black dude and this bitch here, who really wants to fuck Kirito, uh, they're pretty boring. Okay, let's be real here. The animation is the only good thing about the show. It's not very different from the other animations from that time, but it does hold up even rewatching it a few days back. Uh, I think it's pretty good. It is pretty generic because it's just good animation, really. But yeah, the only good thing about the show, really. Uh, yeah. Something that I never noticed much of in this video, so I went looking. And for some reason, the only thing that I could find is an old ass video called One Hour of Beautiful and Emotion Anime Music. So I listened to it and it was um, interesting. Okay, so uh, let's see the OSTs. I never saw that before. Swordland. You guys already saw this one. Da, 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 da. Hey. You guys are saw this one, just watch the anime. Yeah. Okay, violin. More violin. Okay, this one is different. They don't stand out a lot, they are weird. Okay. okay, this one is kinda cool. These wallpapers are cringy as fuck. What the fuck? Look at this. Yeah, uh, yeah, that, that, that's it. Pretty generic. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that only the opening is really good, the rest is not bad, but it doesn't stand out like the other ones that I did. Actually, one stand out to me, and it's this one. I don't know why, but I think the text is funny. It's not even because of the music, it's just, I just think the text is really funny. <laughs> Sorry. But that's my sense of humor, yeah. I, I know it's pretty bad. A lot of people say this anime sucks, and they are mostly right. As I said before, the thing the show is either average or really bad. And you might think that, oh, it gets better in the other seasons, right? Yes, but for most part, no. The only good part about the other seasons is the spin off series done by a different fucking author. Are you kidding me? Really? It's really unfortunate that. Such a good premise, got into this man hands, uh, yeah, no, not much to do about it. I'll be lying to you if I, said I never liked this anime. At one point, I, I did like it a lot, but it was, it was when I was going to my 11 year old edgy phase, so I don't know what that says about you if you like it over that, but yeah. 
do I recommend the show? Um, yeah, if you like trash isekai, I guess. But for people who are looking for a good experience, no. If you wanna really watch a good isekai, just what Mushoku Tensei is that. It's pretty good. With all of that said, uh, the score is 3 out of 10. Don't watch it. Yeah, that, that's it. <laughs>